Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. Danny here. Today I'm talking to you about Origin. So Origin is written and drawn by Boichi, ran from 2016 to surprisingly 2019. So this is fairly recent. And it was serialized in Weekly Young Magazine. Now we've seen some big hitters in here like Akira, Prison School, Initial D, and many more series in here. Which was surprising because uh, Sunken Rock was in a different magazine. And that was also written and drawn by Boichi. And of course, that name should sound familiar. Like I said, Sunken Rock were big fans on the podcast of that series. And he is also doing the art for Dr. Stone. And he's also doing the um, novelization of the A story for One Piece uh, that's being adapted into a manga. And he's working on that right now as well. So this guy's a madman finished this series origin in 2019 he was drawing dr stone at the same time and now that he's done he's doing dr stone and now he's doing the ace novel yeah he's crazy man so let's get into this dude origin 87 chapters in total and it's set in the year 2048 uh, we see our main character here origin aka tanaka so let's start this off, man. Set in the year 2048, we see our main character here, and uh, we find out that he is a highly advanced robot that is very human-like. Everything down to breathing, to appearance, skin, warmth, muscles, you know, this is state-of-the-art machinery, and no one else has seen this in the world. And so he is living in Tokyo uh, going off of his father's wishes who passed away to live a proper life and that's what he's trying to do he's trying to understand what it means to be human and trying to convey motions naturally rather than just uh, simulating them but at the same time we also find out that there are other robots out there that were created by his father uh, it's up to him to meet them uh, in the beginning to, and you know kind of just send them a message of Let's just leave each other alone. Let's just try to live off of father's dying wishes. And that's how we start off the first chapter. We see him in like this Yakuza situation, trying to pick up some rare materials. And then that's where, you know, he's getting very attention to detail, trying to find the robot. Because if there's any slip up, he would know because of how the processing is and how attentive to detail he is. He finds the misstep, knows who it is, and ends up killing her. And it's like, this is going to be the message to the other robots to like just leave me alone let's calm down and that's sort of how this story starts off and it, uh, you know it ends with him in chapter two going to work perfect place for cover to try to act normal and to get supplies when he needs repairs by working in a robotics company the biggest one in the world i had no idea what this manga was about i came in pretty blind uh i, I knew it was boichi and i was like okay you know i really like boichi i love his art his writing is great and I figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and get into this, man. So I didn't really look at any premise or anything. And uh, I'm glad I did it in a sense because it's it's very self-explanatory in the first chapter, right? Future, robots, what more do you need? And that's where we go from there. We get some interesting characters on the side that become important later down uh, the stories. And then we get a look at all the other robots. And <laughs> the whole time I kept thinking, like, is this Mega Man? You know, we're all built by the same creator and then now we have to fight all the other eight siblings type of deal you know th that's what i thought there's a lot more to than just him like okay on to the next robot uh there's great character development and a lot of it actually comes from tanaka himself you know as as i said he's trying to understand what it means to be human and he's very emotionless when in his talking because he has no emotions right now that gave me a lot of similarities to psyche kuso no sainan what I like about that is we do get some significant growth with our character going off a blank canvas like this. And then the intentional humor that's in there with him being so straight faced all the time, even when he tries to go into situations to where he has to greet people or he has to give a certain response, but he doesn't know what to do. And he's just kind of going off of whim based off of assumptions that other people would react to and then when it gets wrong everybody's weirded out by him he's like what i thought that was the right answer you know so uh the humor is good in there you know what one thing boichi likes to do is he knows when to put in humor in a serious story and even when it's not serious like during the downtimes of all this it's still 
perfect timing when it comes to the humor and and all the gags that come in. Uh, like I said, he's working in a robotics company and he's really just trying to uncover the two main objectives is, again, just emotions and figuring out what's going on with his robot siblings because that becomes a problem later down the line. And we actually get some good moments with them. You know, we see their perspective a lot. We have to understand what they're coming from as well. And they all sort of have their own themes and it's apparent based off of their designs, like towards one of the final chapters in the last arc. Uh, it's kind of a recap of what just went down. And Tanaka's telling us basically what each robot has represented for him during this short journey that we have with our character. So the writing is really solid. It is some of the best. Uh, my main complaint for Sun Ken Rock was how he just didn't stick the landing with the ending. It was so abrupt, came out of nowhere. And it's very bittersweet on how that series ended. And here, I believe this is right after. Um, there might be one manga in between. So understanding how he how he writes, it's was a little worrying of where are we going to go with the direction? Because right now I'm really liking everything, all the characters, all the situations, the, the ideas he can come up with that is sci-fi, but not too out of the lane because... You know, this is only at the time, like 30 plus years into the future. So it can't be too crazy, but there's some stuff there that's very believable. And when we got to the ending, there was one instance between our main antagonist and Tanaka that I felt just, it kind of came out of nowhere, I would say, because like it was hinted at earlier uh, with another character that was very interesting as well. Uh, her name was Y. Uh, she stumbled upon something. When we got to this interesting reveal, it just struck me as, okay, this is interesting, but I don't see it going anywhere. And then when we saw how it came to fruition, I just, I don't know how I felt about it. It was so out of lane for this series because it's, it's realistic sci-fi. And to get something that feels very abstract or, you know, anime in a sense, I just was a little shooken up by it. I didn't expect that to happen, and I still don't know how I feel about it. The lesson that it gives us for our antagonist and Tanaka was good at the end, but I just don't see it really fitting into the world. Because let's, go, let's talk about the combat. My God, is the combat amazing. It's so good. It's very technical. One thing I really like is the fact that they're robots. We could see them do a lot of things, you know, realistically, regular shonen characters can do but this is the real world so there's nobody like that and for them to explain how it works with the technology that they have in their systems it was amazing like the first fight was pretty cool just the, the style of weapon he chooses we see in the first chapter it's like oh this is just a a hilt of a sword why does why are you carrying that around and it's like oh because it's not considered a weapon if we get caught it's like oh, okay that's pretty smart and then we see when we find out he is a robot he's hiding the blade within his arm because it's made out of uh, the same type of muscle in his body so it's flexible to a degree and he's able to pull that out and then just the way he uses it is so cool the way he deflects bullets you know as every manga main character goes through is there's a hurdle he has to accomplish physically but you know he's still going off of his father's wishes so he's like i have to keep the human shape it's, all, it's the only logical thing and the first solution that came up with that was so cool you know it wasn't over the top but it still has that anime presence to it and that was really amazing and then even getting like all the final upgrades after fighting everybody you know it's still in the realms of the realistic expectations from the technology i guess you could say and then you know going back to this weird thing that pops up at the end it just doesn't really fit tonally you know uh, again i think the message is good and it's clear but i just don't know how i feel about it uh, other than tanaka though there's some other great characters in here that highlight the series and you know there's a lot of lessons to be learned in here a lot of messages that boichi wants to you know throw out there one of them is clearly uh, being alone what it takes to be a person you know, what humanity strives for, because that's all Tanaka is looking for. And as he's interacting with all of these other characters in here, he's understanding that, 
oh, so there is a repetitious cycle when it comes to certain people like this, like my father. One of the main characters was her was his supervisor at the robotics company, which was Laura. And, you know, there were some interactions between her. He just went as plain and blunt as possible about, you know, everything he just analyzed in that moment. I mean, there's a lot of that in there. And then the other main character of note is uh, this girl, Hirose, and what's going on with her life, right? She gives a detail of her backstory and how she came to be, why she's there in the first place. You know, she becomes a vital role later down the line for Tanaka. And it's all written pretty well. The relationships that each character has is great. As we were nearing towards the end of the series, I thought, well, you know, it's only 80 something chapters. How how are we going to handle Tanaka fighting each one? Because I thought it was going to be like an arc. He's going to fight one, maybe two type of deal. And then we'll get to see the differences that happen. But the buildup was great. Uh, I don't really want to spoil stuff, but you should definitely check it out. Um, the final fights, some of them were really amazing. You know, because there's characters that show up that we haven't seen that we knew he was going to fight, but we just never saw them before. And the way they're introduced and it's like, oh, here's this guy's abilities and here's what he here's the conclusion that he came to for the peak of performance, basically, because every person that Tanaka has fought basically up to that point is, you know, they've found their own version to upgrade their bodies to pass the limits that was originally given to them and all that was really cool the main antagonist at first was really interesting just because of where he was at you know and how he just had this commanding authority over the other robots you know like clearly this is the leader but how does you know he gonna fight Tanaka at the end how is he gonna do it I, I found all that stuff interesting and then there was a twist at the at the very end, which I didn't expect at all, because it was still a little confusing with one of the characters. The way it ends with our antagonist was good. I think that was the, the whole point of leading up to that fight and the whole abstract stuff. So really solid overall, man. Uh, there was the final chapter was like a Gaiden chapter. It really doesn't tie into the story at all, other than the fact that Tanaka is there. It's just more great writing from Boichi. So overall, man, I think Origin is definitely worth your time. You know, there's a lot of breathtaking moments with the art. That's it's really astounding, man. This guy is one of the best artists in the manga industry right now, man. He's up there with Yusuke Murata, Takahito Ino, you know, Murata, not Murata, uh, Moria. It's so good, man. There were some panels I just had to take a step back and just really appreciate the detail he went into there. There's some nice surprises in here uh, that shows up. It's only one chapter, sadly, but, you know, it kind of makes sense because there's really should be no interaction with these characters. Uh, but, you know, if you are a fan of Boichi, just keep that in mind, uh, like kind of pay attention to his other series. That's that's one of the things he does here. Like we just talked about Blam not that long ago. And how, you know, Nihei kind of puts his work together. So it's kind of the same here with Boichi. Uh, he has a lot more works that I do need to read. So we'll, we'll be coming back around talking about this guy more for sure later down the line. And again, just Tanaka is a really solid main character. There was some like some of the best moments is really with him and just understanding everything. That's my favorite part of the series. It's totally worth reading. That's all I got today, guys. So again, thanks for sticking around. If you have any questions or comments, what do you think of Boichi or the series? Let us know on versepodcastgmail.com. Of course, we'll talk about it on the next episode. And while we wait for that, you can follow us on social media anywhere you go on Verse Podcast. Let you know when those episodes drop. So thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sky jump over life struggle, I found something. On the way to the ground, sound of the skull is crushing. 007, the bomb, spark with a sexy rushing. I job with the frown after I got the bus in. Swear a nigga like me alive with a god of function. All the shit that I felt, feel like the space combusting. Twisting me and I love a love and it's not for trusting. And the dream 2015 between the dusty. Cocaine, my little brother, existing questions. Long lesson, shit boyfriend, I'm off depressing. Deep focus, the bipolar, recall this instance. Fake sober, my Hot vocals and
jog a distance. Borrow choke, do not approach. I'm petrified enough to kill myself and neck bury the rope. Marry the hoax. Maryland fairy taking me home. Don't want to be alive for this one.